right, so for this henna, it says to, uh, if you have long or thick hair, then you should probably use all of it. I do not have long or thick hair. Uh, I was suggested to use three blocks. There was a video that I watched that suggested, oopsie, 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 crumbles everywhere, that suggested that you grate um, your henna just to make it a little easier to uh, melt because it It almost looks edible. Yum, yum, yum. It's fine. All right, so I've got on an old black t-shirt, my old Chipotle shirt. I don't care if it gets stained. In fact, my other one has bleach stains on it. But I have no idea where they came from. Whatever. Uh, sometimes gloves will come in the henna wrapper uh, on the inside of it, but it does not. Apparently you can ask for gloves at um, the register. I did not because I didn't think to look to see if there were any gloves. There weren't. Um, which is completely fine because I just went to the store and bought myself more gloves anyway. So it says, things you like, that you will need, rubber gloves, double boiler or heat proof bowl in a saucepan, which is my metal bowl that I have here. Um, if it gets too cold or starts hardening up, right now it's still very squishy. Ting. Right now it's still very squishy, so that's fine. Uh, newspapers to cover the floor. I don't have newspapers, but I have giant plastic bags. Check. Comb, skip that. Plastic wrap or plastic grocery bag, optional. I think that uh, is meaning to cover up your hair. Right? Right? Yeah, it's meaning to cover up your hair, but later in the directions it says to use cling film or cling wrap. Um, so they just didn't think to put that part. <laughs> Uh, Ultra Balm to cover your hairline and ears to avoid staining from the henna, which is why I got the petroleum jelly. Uh, coloring brush to apply henna. You can use your hands, but this is neater. I don't have a brush, so we're using hands. Hair clip to keep your spare hair out of the way. I don't have hair clips. We're just gonna do it. Just like I've done my hair all in the past. It says do a strand test if you choose to. Great, go right ahead, you can absolutely do so. I don't really care the results of the, the red of my hair. I love red hair. In fact, this red initially started out looking like this red, and it goes to this. So I have no qualms when it comes to red hair. I just love having red hair in all various shapes. All right, so step one, get your double boiler set up. Put a bowl into a large saucepan containing hot water or do what I did and just put hot water on it. Cut your henna into big pieces. A full block of henna is great for long, thicker hair and for short or fine hair, you can make less. I would suggested three blocks. Put your henna into the double boiler and cover with boiling water, allowing the hot water to soak in and melt for a few minutes. Again, it's faster if you grate the henna. Then mix it up to the consistency of brownie batter. Add more hot water if needed. Keep the henna bearably hot to the touch. The hotter the better for the color, but don't burn your head, is what it says. Do not microwave or overcook it. I have no idea if I overcooked it or not. I don't know. Step two, apply Ultra Balm around the hairline area uh, and on the ears to avoid staining from the henna. Wearing rubber gloves, apply the henna thoroughly to clean dry hair. My hair is not the most clean, but it is still fairly clean. It's not really oily or anything. My hair, my hair takes like 
two and a half to three days before it starts getting oily, which we're at the very beginning stage of that. So I'm just gonna do it anyway. Da -da 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 -da. Where we go? Staying from the henna, clean dry hair section, uh, apply section by section, working from back to front, cover the roots first, then apply the mixture to the ends. Leave it on for two to four hours for the best effect. For a redder look, wrap your hair in cling wrap or leave it unwrapped for a deeper brown color. I don't want a brown color, I do want red, so we're doing the cling wrap. Step three, wash it out and toss, the, toss that sexy head of hair. Okay, I will. It does say do not use an eye area or on cut or a braided scalp, though I will probably put some on my eyebrows. Cool. So if you have lightly colored hair or gray hairs, it does say that you will get stronger results from it and it will be brilliantly bright red. So keep in mind if you are trying to avoid that then maybe try something else. Okay, so let's get almost started. I'm gonna put my hair up and put on the jelly all around the hairline and your beard. Okay, so I used the three blocks. I've used everything. It made a huge mess. And I know for a fact that I have many spots missing. So, as most of the videos showed, I'm gonna go heat up more blocks. And just for giggles and grins, I'm gonna heat up the entire thing. All right, I went back and melted down the last three blocks, and I'm just going to pretty much slather my entire head with what is left, um, just to make sure that everything is covered. Um, which, by the way, I like my little bag hat. My bag hat is quite cute. I am the most beautiful woman in all the land. Oh, hell yeah, this is a lot better. I wish I had done that from the beginning. Everything is filthy. this mess. Whoa. <laughs> and I did wind up using all of the henna. But now it's time to clean up, maybe clean some of my face off, and get ready to get this laundry going because I am running behind. It is dark out. Good gracious. That means it's after at least 4.30 because that's sunset. And it's probably also after five. 
I'm behind schedule. Stupid keys. Four hours later, it is time to get this stuff off of me. I do see that we've had some escapes and some... Oh god, that looks so much worse in the camera. It looks green. Why is it green? I... Do you like my hair? This thing weighs a ton, by the way. I did four hours of laundry. Yes, we had that much laundry. While waiting for all this to do its thing. And just like tilting my head to the side or down. It was like, there are extra pounds up here. I feel like I'm about to start a pottery class with my hair. It looks like wet clay. It is wet clay. Um, but yeah, hopefully my side of my face is not destroyed. And maybe that's just because of the petroleum? He's not the lead character of the film, right? Let's watch this out, and we shall see. I do see that this piece. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I do see that this piece right here is really dark and does not look red at all. Hopefully, that's just because of the clayness slash the henna ness, and that it's still kind of wet. But we'll see. <laughs> all right, show it down. So I actually went to bed last night after washing my hair um, and getting like some small clips. I let it dry and here are the results. I admit I didn't do the best application job. I have some spots that I missed but my own natural hair color kind of blends in and it almost looks like I gave myself some red highlights. Which still kind of works. Yeah, you can see the spot back there could have been better. It shows up much more vividly on camera and it's not even that vivid. But the color is very nice. This is about how I wish my hair would start as or stay as. Um, I mean, this is vibrant version of what the lower half of my hair looked like anyway, just from the, all the fadedness. So, there are the results. My hair was a natural dirty blonde color. So, these are the results. It smells like tea, still. Um, since I've slept, I'm now getting getting more of that clove bud oil smell. Yeah. Clove. So it smells nice if that's a smell that you like or lean towards. But I admit when you're walking around for four plus hours and all you smell is tea, 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 tea. It gets a little old really fast. <laughs> but it's not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> My hair also still looks healthy. It's about the same. Like it doesn't feel nicer than it was, but it doesn't feel worse than what it was. Overall, I'm happy with the results. As you know, in the future, use the method that I did on the second go round. That consistency worked way better. So instead of a brownie mix, make it more mousse-like. Make it chocolate mousse-like. But, those are my findings, those are my results. Let's see how you'll do. <laughs> Bye guys.